Those of you who, who are skeptics about Christianity, this is a great verse for you because, so here's what happened for like 200 years post enlightenment. Um, people would look and there'd be lectures at Oxford and Cambridge and Harvard and Yale about why the Bible can't be trusted. And the, one of the reasons for you skeptics was this verse right here. What they said is that John has no bearing in historicity. He's making things up so much that he's just making up geographic regions that don't exist. And they would cite this verse as one of the great reasons you should all drop kick your Bible and walk away from it and never trust it again, because this simply didn't exist. There was no uh, pool by the sheep gate in a place called Bethesda, which had five roof colonnades, these, these, uh, these pillars and these porches didn't exist. And people would walk away from Christianity and say, I can't trust the Bible. But then here's the problem. In the mid 1900s, archeologists continued to dig and they dug a little deeper. And just north of the Temple Mount, they found exactly this set of pools and porches and colonnades. Inscriptions, exact spot, exact name. And what's terrifying about that is everyone who walked away from Christianity based on that skepticism, all they needed to do was wait a little longer till they dug a little deeper. There's a guy named Craig Blomberg, who's a very respected New Testament scholar. He has an entire 400 page book called The Historicity of the Gospel of John. And what he points out is there's lots of people through history that put John through the ringer for not being historical. And actually he's one of the most historical of all of them. For instance, John is the only reason we know Jesus' ministry lasted three years. It's the only one. If we don't have John, we don't know how long he went because John tells us how many times he went to Jerusalem for the Passover. That's the only way we're able to gauge how long Jesus' ministry was. If all you have is Mark, his ministry could have lasted two weeks. We have no idea. And so John tells us it's three years, it's this many feasts, it's this many times he went to Jerusalem and he roots this thing in this historical place.